They say it's a sport that nearly anyone can play. Just ask Joyce Jones of Seattle, who played five games in a row today. You played five games in a row? Yeah, yeah. What? I'm tired. <laughs> and how did you do? Uh, well, I won two out of the five, so not real great. But for a 93-year-old, it's acceptable, right? Yeah, I would say. <laughs> Joyce has been coming to the Huntsman World Senior Games to compete in pickleball for the past 17 years, but she says she's been playing the game for 45. I'm playing in the 80 plus, so they've got 13 years on me. Most of them are all 80. <laughs> and um, I love competition. I love pickleball. I love seeing all my friends year after year. And uh, so that's why I'm here. As she collects her gold medal along with her friends, she does it with a smile on her face as the oldest player in the tournament. Well, I'll get a gold only because I'm so old. <laughs> I'm the oldest player in pickleball here, including the guys. The sport of pickleball has been among the most popular here and around the world. For the last six days, we had 1,150 players. Uh, today is the last day, it's singles. Uh, everyone's out here having a great time, both men and women today. Very, it's a fun sport to be around. It's very social, so a lot of the time is spent chatting. It's almost like a family reunion here at Huntsman because we have people from all over the country. This is my fifth year at Huntsman's Senior Games, and um, my husband and I compete in tennis, and a year and a half ago we took up pickleball, and we, we both love competing. So that's why we're here. My story is very similar. I started playing about two years ago. I'm a tennis player as well. And um, I'm from Philadelphia. My original country is Slovakia. But I'm having a great time. I, yeah. And there are those who compete to keep active, like Derek Clark from Hawaii. Oh, it's such a great game. Uh, I, you know, because I had a lot of experience playing basketball, pickleball has allowed me to save my knees and also um, you know, it being a very social game and you can take it to whatever, whatever level you want. If you want to be competitive, there's room for that. If you want recreation, there's room for that. If you want to just socialize, there's room for that. Um, I guess I was lucky enough to, to win, um, but then uh, the person I played, he had some foot problems, so um, I tried to uh, you know, exploit that and try to make him run around. Um, so, yeah, fortunately I came up on top. It's, it's just a fun game. That's why people are playing this and it's growing so fast. It's a fun game. It's a quick game. Uh, the games don't last that long, so they're maybe, you know, a game to 11, win by two, maybe takes 10 to 15, 20 minutes. Uh, and you're, you're done, you go off, you find some new partners. Uh, you go out and play another game. Maxine Brown and I from California won the gold in the 85 to 89 age group. And today I come out and played singles, which is the most difficult I feel in pickleball is playing singles. I won all my matches and won a gold medal today in singles. So this is the best showing I've had at a Huntsman winning three golds and a bronze. From as far as pickleball goes, I can see that it improves your flexibility, your driving skills. I can see a lot, you know, at, at his, he's 85, and I, his friends that are 85 are not very movable. Makes a difference. It's very obvious anyone from any age and any skill can play, and if you're not laughing, you're not doing it right. It's lots of fun. We have all ages, and it's been great to have players continue to play for the last 20, 30 years, continue to come back and have a great time. The game is more than just competition. It's a chance to make new friends. We just met. We started warming up together. We realized we're both grandmas, uh, five grandkids, and um, she's from, um, I think she was from American Fork and, and Provo area, and I have kids that are there, so when I travel to see them, now I can call her up and say, hey, go play and we can improve. It's just increased my friend circle by a lot and they're just amazing fun. And uh, nobody takes it that seriously to be, to put the friendships on the line. 
it's just always just, we always walk out just, good job, that was so great. Many people ask how pickleball got its name. It was invented in 1965. And uh, my husband grew up playing with Joel Pritchard, who was the inventor of pickleball, playing badminton. And so when Joel invented pickleball, he taught Don and me how to play. And uh, there were no fences or bushes or anything to stop the rolling ball. And so Joel had a dog named Pickles. And Pickles would always chase the ball, and bring it back to them. So he decided the only fair thing is to name it after Pickles. And that's how it got its name. And there's a lot of other stories go around, but I got the word from Joel Pritchard himself. It was Pickles the dog. And whether you are a grandma or not, this sport is more than likely calling your name. Want to make sure that everyone knows here in Pickleball, we're helping support the Huntsman's goals of worldwide peace, health, and friendship. So there was great vision 10 years ago when the first 24 courts were built. Eight more were added this year, so we're up to 32. And next year, when you all come back, we'll have a stadium court ready. So get ready to come back to a Little Valley here. It's been a great complex. So it's such a social sport, and just about anybody can play it.